Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with the Great War mod. Last time around we saw off a German army just outside of Brussels. Since then, the um, Belgian army actually moved out to kill off the remnants of that army. So if I take my spy plane here, or my scout plane, I should find that there are no Germans at all on Belgian soil, which I would say, you know, mission accomplished. Since there's no Germans around, I think we're going to switch to try and aid the French. Well, no Germans around in Belgium. So, we're going to try and recover. I might go ahead and send over more troops, as I, it's, it's been noted that Germany packs a heavy punch with all that artillery machine guns and so on, so we probably need some extra troops to be shipped over to Belgium. But then we'll be heading down towards kind of the center region of the line here, towards Metz in Strasbourg, with our army to aid the French instead. We'll see what happens there. In the meanwhile, we will be working on building up the country and moving as much of the navy as possible down to the Mediterranean to create uh, a, superior, a superiority in this area where we can block the Austro-Hungarian navy, destroy it hopefully, and block them in port. Same with the Ottoman one, which will later be leading to invasions where we'll be landing troops to attack and take over this region and then start a second front by moving in and re-establishing Serbia by taking back Belgrade and go from there against the Austrians, the weak underbelly of the alliance. Hopefully at some point I'll be able to convince Italy to join the struggle on our side so they can go ahead and attack. That I think would work well. So we'll see about working on that. Since last turn, as I said, the Belgians went down to kill that. But also we have technology, silent films, and Marxist socialist reforms. We also have three dockyards being built. Bristol, Liverpool and Chatham have all gotten expanded docks. And the Panel Canal is opening for shipping. So that's good. I think now we want to switch to possibly something that would actually increase some of the buildings here. So what I'm looking at is, you know, trench warfare could be nice to get. Um, there's still some few technologies away, but at the same time I also want to build on the country, right? I don't know if it's necessary to have a military training ground in Wales. It's kind of out of the way. Now, I would want one in Scotland just because I could get specific Scottish Scottish troops, but there's no specific Welsh troop, is there? So there might be better to have, you know, a town council or something like that built there. And so for that, we would need, I think it's censorship of the press which is needed to get the next level of building, yes. And then also, because the thing is, I've been thinking here, so we can build, there's three different types of building. Farmer's stall that kind of goes to the, the shopping mall banking center, which would, you know, do a lot of money. But at the same time, because I want to build tons of factories out here, you know, we have the possibility of building this town to be factories, building better factories here. And then uh, this supply depot as well can be expanded upon plus all the ports in this area, it's going to lead to a lot of unhappiness due to the industrialization. So we need something to counter that. So I think the best one to counter that is the soup kitchen, or the one that gives the most happiness, I think. But at the same time, that gives administration cost and unhappiness for actually the bourgeoisie or the upper classes in this case. Uh, as there's only two classes available in the game. Um, so then a middle ground would kind of be the theater. It wouldn't generate money, neither would the soup kitchen, uh, but it would do happiness, cultural happiness, and it would do it for all the classes. 
farmer stall would obviously be really nice to be able to build, but I, uh, yeah, we're not going to do that unless, you know, what kind of factory do we have here? If I can build, you know, if I can outsource maybe, build this place. Okay, I can't really change it. What I was thinking is changing this into the um, art uh, an artillery factory, so the artillery will come from here. And that would open up a slot here for me to be able to build um, a town market. But we'll, we'll have to think about that. So, anyways, for technology then, we'll go for suppressed press and expanded railroads. I think that's good. So we can get railroads and we can ship our troops around. Also, because I want to give railroad technology to my allies, like the Belgians. Uh, they are already building railroads, actually. They are already building... Is it the first one? Or are they building up? Or does this mean they're building up to the second one? It's nice, anyways, that they're building tracks. Because I want to increase the replenishment of this region. We can actually check, see what they, kind of technology they have. I don't think they have... Yeah, they don't have, so it is the first one that they're looking at. Uh, Belgium definitely needs our support, and it's going to be... Because because the way the people said that I should do it and not you know, keep as much occupied territory as myself, I should more create vassals and stuff like that, or give stuff to France, uh, it, replenishment is going to be a big issue, especially since I have to ship a lot of the troops from my home region then. But we'll try to figure that out. Anyways, for now, what we have as Because I'm probably going to have to move quite a few turns without anything happening. So I'll give you a general idea of what we're working towards. So the, the army is going to get replenishment in terms of some kind of troop. And it's going to be moving towards here instead. as, this, uh, as Unless the Germans come on a, the attack. So they're going to move to here to aid the French. And see about may possibly taking this uh, for the French. And then in the naval department, I think, because the German Navy is very unlikely to pick up an army and drop it in Great Britain, um, I'm going to send basically all of it, except some just to protect the docks. Even the docks, I don't think there looks like they would be moving in to block them. Uh, so we're going to move basically the entire Navy. Or a lot of it, anyways. We're going to leave some ships, of course, because we want to ship troops later on. But the entire navy is going to move down here and take control of this area. And uh, I'll come back to you guys once we actually have something interesting to show. Or a battle, most likely. A battle. And with that said, uh, I'll go ahead and end turn. As it turns out, sending the home fleet to the Mediterranean wasn't that great of an idea. A little bit of bad maneuvering, and what I have is a German fleet actually attacking and sacking the Chapnam docks. Originally, they came down to uh, block the Belgium port, but as I was uh, ferrying troops over, it opened up the port for an attack, and not only were they able to stop the trade, as they are right now, but they were also able to burn down the docks. I was able to ferry across the reinforcement, which was two units of dragoons, and five units of foot guards that will be joining the main force. And even now, after so many turns, it's right now early January 1915, um, we haven't really got any further. And neither down here, but I have improved the economy quite a bit. And I have been building and uh, building a lot of buildings, but also being able to research a lot of different technologies and trading with allies as well. Uh, what we're looking at now, though, is uh, this fleet cannot persist, so we're going to go and sink it. Overwhelming force uh, is what I thought I would be using, but the old buckets 
but a part of the fleet slowed us down. So I will go ahead and attack with uh, the bigger ships to start off with, and then the small old buckets, the pre-dreadnoughts, will come in afterwards. So right now we've got five of the... Um, no, we have five Colossus classes, and then one of the battle cruisers coming in. The Germans, as the biggest ship, only has a battle cruiser, so it's definitely in my favor. With that said, let's go in and sink the Hun. I've set my ships in a line across here, and the idea is that we're gonna steam, continue to steam at this uh, I was about to say altitude, but at this course. And uh, yeah, we'll have them slowly go straight into our uh, range, our range finders, and we'll shoot them out of the water. I just noticed that the second fleet is actually coming in closer than the first fleet is. And they might be targeted by the Germans before the other fleet comes in. Which could turn nasty, couldn't it? Interesting to see the difference here. Well, not really. But I compare, like, the first naval battle that I had in the German campaign... Uh, towards this because that I, I had the inkling of doing like a rematch in a way where I would if you remember from the German one I just took all my ships and I went against basically all of what Great Britain had or a lot of it anyways and we had this massive fight where you know most ships got destroyed uh, so I, I had the idea of doing the same for this one but I mean the thing is, when you play as Germany, the navy isn't that important. When you play as Great Britain, it's a lot, it's very important. So right now, we're um, kind of just um, trying to get into position here. Right now, they kind of... Taking out the... Well, I mean, I do have... I know what it means because I have more ships, right? But um, taking out the victory in advance seems a bit much. The enemy is going to go right in between these two fleets. Right now, I'm not entirely sure what what he's... He's ch changing his heading. Oh, I got these ones as well. I think we're getting fired upon, so I will start to turn this fleet. And then if we could speed these guys up, they will continue at the current heading. And hopefully they'll be able to because they were since they were heading kind of in between to start off with. They were on the way to just getting sandwiched in between. I think that that looks fine. We've taken some hits on the main ship. But nothing too bad. Not compared to what I imagine is happening over at the German side. Where they're taking massive hits as they're going kind of straight in to our fleet. We can actually just stop here, kind of. Although, I want, probably want you and you to continue so everyone kind of gets in line to fire at something. Let's see, the second fleet... ...continues at this heading, but... ...I don't think it will um, really arrive in time. What I guess you could do is head this way and cut off the possibility of retreat for the German fleet. With the only really big ship taken out of action, 
it's now left to the smaller light cruisers and I mean their uh, health just melts away I'm hoping to see a catastrophic explosion because that would make a nice thumbnail but we'll see we'll see if we can if we can get something like that or it's all just gonna sink let's see maybe if you had something like that that would be nice okay so you've surrendered your own fire so you will explode at some point and um, the other two getting destroyed this one is actually able now to uh, get out all the range of fire I'll take the um, HMS Emperor of India and the Iron Duke and I'll have them go and follow him see if we can't sink him the uh, SMS Blucha is uh, routing it's only 18 crew left and 10 cannons the Germans uh, it was a bold strategy to attack Chapman Docks and I mean it definitely cost me some money but in comparison you know, the Germans just lost four ships surrendered and there we go within six minutes the enemy fleet is sunk but it also it it sort of um, shows me that you know I cannot leave the uh, home region completely without defense so we're gonna have to keep some ships for the home region but um, a lot of it will still be sent down to the Mediterranean probably need to build a few new ones as well and here's the result of the battle we deployed 12 ships compared to their five they lost three apparently two are remaining although I very much doubt that the Iron Duke apparently stood for two of those kills lost 20 crew and then the HMS Invincible which is the um, the what's it called the battle cruiser managed to get one kill out of those but yeah the German fleet was sunk we'll merge this what I think we'll do is we'll have the main sort of the general we start with the admiral we start with him and a lot of the bigger ships will keep them here I imagine the Ottomans don't actually have a lot of bigger ships to go up against us so all the pre dreadnoughts and stuff will be sent to the Mediterranean and deal with them I already have a sizable fleet down here already a lot of it it's though is armored cruisers and uh, light cruisers and then of course pre dreadnoughts a single um, battle cruiser with this I'm hoping to get this force to join with this one and then I think we'll skirmish with the Germans here and after that we'll call it a day looks like we're not the only one advancing on the Germans we can see that there's a Belgian force just here close to the border would be interesting if we would actually be able to fight with them again and I wonder if the Germans will go ahead and I have an 80% chance they should work right Okay, so I think that the Germans will not actually sally forth. So I will move just close to the bridge. Okay, they did actually. I thought they wouldn't and I would be able to place myself close to the bridge. And so once the Belgians attacked, we would be able to join in. So we would yet again come with a combined attack. Which would be interesting and cool to see. Or I'm just making excuses so I could have the Belgians play meat shield for me again. 
anyways, looks like we have a battle. The Germans are slightly outnumbering us. However, I've got plenty more artillery than them. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, let's go for another battle against the German Empire. We get a lovely river crossing. Now, luckily for me, there's very little Germans to stop us crossing in the beginning. Especially the fact that the uh, machine gun is coming in as reinforcement. So what we have to deal with is these troops right here, which should be no problem with my massed artillery making short work of them. I'm going to charge across the river as soon as possible with my infantry and the general to follow in tow. And then my cavalry is going to cross here and be able to strike the enemies in the back. Now, I'm not entirely sure where the reinforcement's coming from. Now, given the location, they should be coming right down here, I think. Which could mean that my cavalry... I should hold off on waiting till see, to see where they really come from before I send the, the cavalry across. Obviously, I'm going to wait to send the cavalry across anyways, because I don't want the enemy artillery to focus on them. With that said, let's go ahead and start. So, our cavalry will be um, stationary. And uh, there's a little bit of a risk here. That the enemy artillery will target my infantry as they move across. And there's potential for a lot of damage as I'm moving all the units at the same time. However, as they're facing four of my batteries, I doubt they'll stay alive for very long. Right, I just noticed here the enemy reinforcements are actually coming behind the town. Which makes it perfectly safe for my cavalry to cross. I'm just going to have them cross, set them somewhere here, so that they can... I'm going to use the heavy artillery to blast these guys. Wait, how far... I kind of want to be blasting this gun and the machine gun when they come across. And I think the other four batteries are safe in dealing with this. So I'm going to start moving this one already. So risk here with the lancers, they're coming straight at us. As soon as we... Ooh. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. We're gonna detach this unit. Tell it to hold right here. What is this? What is this for kind of sh crap? Oh, it's that stupid... I don't know why they... I, I thought I deleted that thing. It's like, I'm gonna, never gonna use that sh shit. Xbox crap. Uh, but uh, for some reason it keeps reappearing and now what what is this garbage okay so I ended up because that thing because that thing I ended up murdering tons of my own troops because of that really bad friendly fire incident just because... What was that? And who even was that? Who who do I know that could possibly want to add me on that bullshit? I didn't even know, even know I had a uh, account or whatever. You know what? I'm gonna move all the cannons. Wrong button. Now I'm such a, so unnerved by the fact that this god-awful bullshit thing came around. Um, looks like the enemy is uh, has already set up, so I'm going to move into the village to take cover there from their shots. Our cavalry should be dealing with these guys, hopefully. Okay, we are getting fired upon. The cavalry will retire. It's only one gun that is uh, actually firing back at us. I don't think I have to move this one very far, but the other guns probably have to move a bit to get in range. But this one could probably, yeah, it doesn't need a lot more to be able to target these guys. 
Um, let's see. These three. At a slight angle. I don't want to... Huh. Really don't want the uh, enemy cannon there to be able to... Um, get uh, like a shot straight down the line as it were. Alright, let's see. The cannons getting in position. This one's still operational, but now the German troops have moved away. I think if I can come at this gun from down here, it won't actually cover like the the shot angle won't be covered by the gun as it were, kinda, if you know what I mean. Okay, the heavy guns is in position. Should be set up here. Um, I will be targeting the enemy's heavy artillery. They kind of are firing like I was hoping they wouldn't. If I put them more at an angle like this, it might work. And we have the houses to kind of cover us. I don't think I need that many troops going this way, so I'm going to take this one as well. Set him down there. And then the general will kind of be stationed somewhere in between. You're going here. Um, the Scots coming around over there. Looks fine. Okay, now the enemy unit's back again. Tearing up my cavalry. But it looks like... Um, They've given up on their artillery. Okay, guys, get into position quickly. Okay, so I need you to start targeting this, and then these two. Clearly already in position, so we'll start the bombardment. Once their gun is destroyed, I can obviously take control of this house with at least one of the smaller units. Looks like the Germans are coming through here. Gonna move through. The Jaegers versus the Scots. I think if I set up here, we'll have the 124th Infantry Battalion moving into our range. Fire! Right, we're tearing this guy up. They're still protecting their artillery. Let's concentrate the cavalry again up here. And then from here I have a good advance. Okay, now there's actually two units moving towards the Scots, which could be nasty, plus this unit right here. Is actually quite a bit of German units. But as we just defeated this one, I have the possibility here of moving these guys out as they're not moving this crap over here. I do want to aid this side though. You aren't firing. You're supposed to be firing over here. That's the plan, anyways. Are you guys shooting back and forth here? No, not really. Not in the way that I want. Pull back. And wait for... Um, reinforcements. Now the Scots are trading shots over here. The Germans are pulling into town to protect themselves from our artillery. I'm gonna need you to start shooting at the machine guns. Where do I have my general? He needs to support here. Now there's a risk because German troops coming up behind. Let's move the cavalry quick into support here and I might be able to destroy this quickly. So I can turn a lot of units around. These guys are going to have to come over the hill. To be able to effectively attack us. I'm actually effectively going to turn these guys around. To face these. 
keep bombarding here. I'm gonna need you to come into this position right here. To open fire on them, like that. Can I get the heavy shots to land in here as well? Okay, so these ready for the enemy if they come that way. Now we have got one light unit. We've got some crap in there. I want the two cavalry unit though to combine before we go ahead and make the charge for this area. Are you shooting that much down here? And now you are. And there's a little bit across here. Maybe even get closer to the church. Right, it seems to be working. These guys are actually moving towards my artillery. Let's trap them in between the uh, river and the artillery. Cavalry is slightly winded, but I think we have a perfect chance for the uh, for our strike on them. Okay, they're both there. Let's ride and crush these guys. Crush these fools. This one is the one that we're concerned about. This one can actually be overrun by the Scots in a bayonet charge. Okay, they're turning to face the cavalry now as the cavalry is out in the open. The general fire has fired all his shots apparently. Actually, have the Scots charge that unit. The enemy was broken up by our cavalry charge. And at the same time, the machine gun is getting shot down. Oh shit, I forgot to tell these to stop. We're gonna concentrate a whole lot of fire on that. Let's move through the village. Uh, the enemy here is holding on surprisingly well. Same with this bayonet attack over here. It's not going too well. My troops over here concentrating fire on the Germans. Plus concentrated artillery fire is completely destroying them. And the fact that they're kind of cut off like that is causing massive morale damage to them. Right. The enemy is done for. On all fronts, really. All the troops down here are gone. All the batteries now focus in. On the last unit. And... There we should have victory. And the German army here was destroyed next to Metz. Wonderful. Everything that's needed to be done is just this little cannon. Which apparently has five crewmen somewhere. The fact my artillery isn't actually blasting the area. Or oh, they're standing behind the piece, actually, I think. Oh, it's the... is it just this guy left? Anyways, I have clearly won. And here's the result of the battle. John French deployed about 1,400 men where he lost 600. The enemy lost, lo <laughs> deployed about 1,700 men and they lost uh, almost 1,600 leaving 132 left of the enemy and 800 of ours. As we can see here, um, there's quite a lot. It's 125 roughly, friendly fire. Which I thought it would almost be worse, but the fact that I don't know what that kind of, you know, um, 
I don't know if it even was seen actually, but over on the right side, it came in like some friend, uh, friend uh, request or something, from God knows what actually. I think I know what kind of shit program it is that I thought I had deleted that kind of came with the computer, but uh, apparently not. No idea who it was the Adamy on that crap. Anyways, here we can see. Uh, who killed the most? And we've got infantry at the top, followed by artillery, and so on. Even the general managed to get two kills. Wonderful. So, oh, we even get a um, battle marker for that. How nice. Now that opens up for the Belgians to continue on this route. Um, I guess we stay in the area and keep an eye out. I want to just see here. Seemingly no reinforcements coming soon for the Germans. Now they do have back here, and they do have troops concentrated here. Wanna check what they've got back here as well. And the navy is fine now. We sunk one of the German navies up there, so we could possibly check to sink more. Um, this fleet is now being moved down to the Mediterranean. We'll combine it with this and we get a huge fleet. Now even that a lot of these are not great ships, we'll just completely outnumber whoever we comes up come up here with here. Because there's no way the Austrians gonna have a lot of ships and there's no way the Ottomans gonna have a lot of ships. Also note here that um Oh now they're friendly. I thought oh we can now trade with them. Nice. So what I actually did here, you can see that um, France is actually allied with them. What, did he say no? What if I give you mass production? That's a pretty good one. There we go. Now we got trade. So they're actually playing both sides right now. They are allied with France. So I'm hoping that we can get them to join in. Um, but we'll see what we can get there. Right. Um, there isn't much more to be said right now. For the next one, hopefully we might be able to follow with this Belgian army. It would be interesting to see here if I can just prop up the Belgians to actually take this region and more or less double the size of their uh, kingdom. Uh, we're getting reinforcements, which is badly needed, as French seem to be losing troops left, right, and center. Human waves, no sense or shame. Uh, poor general, two stars. God awful, but uh, it's World War One. He, I'm keeping him close to the front line. Sooner or later, he'll become a hero. And with that said, I think I'll say, as I always say, hopefully, you guys enjoy this. And, hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!
Stop! 